Welcome back. Today we're talking about retiring broke or with irregular income. That's effectively what I got here. Uh, a comment said I'm probably better off in Asia, which is probably true. I mean, I think I've narrowed it down. The benefit in the United States probably be I'd be able to go down the street and get a job working the McDonald's drive through or if I happen to drop dead, an ambulance would come scoop me up and take me to the hospital. Those are the probably the two things that I'm uh, missing out on. Probably the most difficult thing here in Asia is making sure that I have the money to cover the visas. Sometimes monthly, sometimes six months, somewhere in there, but uh, it's probably the biggest thing. Next biggest thing might be the food expenses. Where I'm at currently, um, I'm able to cook food. That is a pretty good benefit. Um, the places I've ha been in before, I've had to eat out. Not overly expensive. I mean, Thailand, you can pretty much eat for, I don't know, $1.50, $2. If you're eating Thai food, I mean, no pizza, no uh, foreigner food, which is good. That's, that's totally fine with me. I love Thai food. Mangoes. Uh, 15, 20 cents, bananas, I mean, all that stuff's uh, incredibly cheap. Oatmeal. But, uh, I mean, if you're going to come over and eat foreigner food, this expense could probably be higher than the rent you pay. Uh, the rent is reasonable um it goes up and down i would say in general uh this expense fluctuates from country to country but maybe not more than maybe 10 or 15 percent if you really want to live cheap um you can go without ac that's when the price goes way 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 down Going back to the United States and from where I'm at right now, that would be the context of this, would be returning to the United States, try to find a place to live, and likely need some sort of transportation, and then um, find a job. I don't know what kind of job, but some sort of job that might cover my base expenses. I'd probably have to go in debt for that. So I feel like here is the better option. Currently, I mean, things don't look to be getting cheaper in the United States. It's interesting though, because it feels like the cost of living here is what like the cost of living over there was uh, four or five years ago. I think you're better off being um, in Asia and, and broke. I, I don't feel like there's much of a risk. We might find out how risky it is. I mean... probably the biggest risk and and this is interesting because uh this is a second hand story but uh 
I know of an American that moved over here like 12 years ago, let his passport expire, um, and has basically just existed in the Philippines, not even went into immigration, not recommending any of this, but uh, went into immigration, told them the dealio, went into the uh, embassy, was able to get his passport and um, maybe the fees and everything were um, minimal, maybe even cheaper than what it would cost for all the visas, uh, it seemed like. Again, this is a secondhand story. Uh, the story is credible, but uh, still uh, uh, very interesting. I don't know what would happen if I couldn't afford the visas. Certainly thought about that. I mean, I thought the guy would be detained and deported, but uh, no, I was wrong about that. It is about seven o'clock at night. I have to work shortly. My income goes up and down a lot. If anything, uh, being a gambler for 28 years uh, taught me a lot about being broke. I've had to educate myself a lot to try to try to scratch some sort of retirement out. I, I don't know what any of that would look like or how much I could save. Currently, the project I'm working on is um, <clears throat> lowering my credit card debt. I got lots of airline tickets and hotels. I got lots of points. as uh, the interest and stuff is, is enough to allow me another month or two to of expenses. I mean, but uh, people ask me, I mean, anybody could really do this. I, I mean, it's a lot like uh, taking your money in to a casino. I mean, it's exciting. <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen. You, uh, you know, you have to constantly evaluate. You go to the ATM a lot to take out more money. Un, unfazed, unfazed about what is going on around you or what you're experiencing. And, and, and you know, people who comment, oh, I seem negative. No, I am optimistic for sure about my situation. I, it's it's a, it's a chess game. I mean, there's no real uh, good way to put it. I spent a lot of time reading and, and trying to educate myself and trying to uh, improve on my situation. It is similar to the experience that um, when I lived in Tijuana, the more that I get familiar with 
the you know the area I'm in you know it seems to help uh, I mean you come over here you live like a tourist I mean you live in an Airbnb you're paying middlemen so the longer that you live here and, and stuff like that I, I mean you're going to find that eliminating the middlemen is going to be a big deal. I have not stayed in an Airbnb for many years now, or Agata completely stopped booking apps. It's not convenient, I'll be honest. You have to, I, I guess, knock on a lot of doors, right? Talk to people. There are houses for rent down the street for a hundred dollars a month houses but again like right now um there's no ac and lots of cold plunges no hot water that's right no hot water which is there there are times where i would like a nice hot shower however Nothing beats nice, cool water over the head after walking outside. The best weather that I've experienced was, of course, Chiang Mai. But I, I, I haven't experienced uh, that anywhere else. Maybe a little bit in, in Baguio, but... Uh, Again, most places uh, very warm, 24-7, maybe just high humidity because sometimes I think it creeps into the 70s. It would be a lot cooler. Where I'm at now is I'm really close to the ocean, so it seems like you get some cooler breezes, but still very warm. About 30 days here till Christmas. Five weeks till uh, New Year's, I uh, am had a resolution trying to lower my credit card debt. Um, it hasn't gone down, but it has um, at least uh, not gone up a ton. But the year's not over. been working hard to uh, make make changes and um, seek out solutions and we'll see what happens I mean frankly and of course as always I will vlog about my experience anyway gotta get back to work thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you on the next video